Well, welcome to the Update Set, the official newscast of ServiceNow Community News, bringing you the latest stories, updates, and insights from the ServiceNow community. I'm Christy, your host, developer advocate, and a person who will definitely get excited about a clever GlideRaker query. Now, our goal with the Update Set is to keep you informed, inspired, and hopefully a little entertained as we break down everything happening in the ServiceNow community. And if you prefer to read along instead, that's no problem. Just scan the QR code on the screen to check out the full written newsletter. Today, we're diving into February's biggest updates, everything from CreatorCon 2025 to some must-watch videos and a very special highlight on one of our newest developer advocates. And the Yokohama release is officially here, packed with new features for developers that they will love. The ServiceNow developer advocates have been hard at work putting together blogs, videos, and deep dives to help you make the most of it. Now, we all know testing can be tedious, but it doesn't have to be because now Assist for Test Creation uses AI to generate test cases for you. Imagine cutting down on all that manual test writing while also improving your test coverage at the same time. That's a win-win in my book. And speaking of AI, Now Assist for Code brings AI-powered coding assistance directly into the ServiceNow IDE. It suggests completions, helps you with syntax errors, and might even know why that weird edge case broke your script. And here's one for you structured coders out there. TypeScript is now officially supported for business rules and scripts. If you love strongly typed variables, better error handling, and structured coding, this is a big deal. JavaScript is still there, of course, but now you have options. The Creator Toolbox video series is diving into these features and so many more. So bookmark that playlist and check it out when you're ready to explore more. Now let's talk about events because big things are happening in the ServiceNow community and you're gonna wanna be there. Mark your calendars because CreatorCon is coming to Knowledge in Vegas in May. Now this is the place to network with developers, get hands-on with AI-powered features, and sharpen your skills. Plus, let's be real, it's Las Vegas. We learn by day and we network by night. Plus, I hear there's a pretty cool act happening at the Sphere. Have you got questions? We've got answers. The next, next Ask the Expert sessions are happening this month where you can bring your toughest ServiceNow questions and get direct insights from top experts. The Community Meetup program is growing super fast. Whether it's in-person or virtual, these meetups are perfect for collaboration, learning, and maybe even show off that side project. You can now find events easily through the newly launched Community Meetup site. Now make sure that you register for knowledge and tick that CreatorCon box, sign up for an Ask the Expert session, and check out the meetup calendar for events near you. Now for my favorite part, community spotlights, because the ServiceNow community thrives, all because of its members, and this month we're celebrating some of the most active contributors. Now this new class of MVPs includes developers, architects, practitioners, who are all consistently sharing their expertise, creating content, and helping others succeed. If you're looking for some inspiration or even some guidance, these are the people that you want to follow. And if you've ever spent any time in the ServiceNow community, you've likely come across Alan's posts, solutions, or his Alan Innovation YouTube channel. He's a six-time MVP, a certified master architect, and now he's one of us. Alan has been creating technical deep dives, answering community questions, and making complex topics easier to understand for years. And outside of work, he's a synthwave musician, an arcade cabinet modder, and Bengal cat dad to Pixel. Now as a developer advocate, he's bringing his passion for knowledge sharing to an even bigger audience. Welcome to the team, Alan. Now, do you know someone in the community who you think deserves a spotlight? Make sure that you let us know because they might just be featured here next. Now, before we wrap up, let's dive into this episode's tips and tricks because let's be real, even the best of us could use a few time-saving hacks. If you've ever struggled with slow queries or inefficient scripts, this one's for you. In a recent Did You Know episode, I covered six expert tips to make your GlideRaker queries run faster, smoother, and with fewer headaches. We're talking things like index utilization, query optimization, and even some clever debugging tricks that you might not have seen before. JavaScript evolves fast, and if you're still using the same syntax from five years ago, it's time for an upgrade. ES12 introduces powerful new features that make your scripts cleaner, more readable, and easier to maintain. Earl Duque covers everything from logical assignment operators to private class fields, plus he's even included a 23-page guide with hands-on exercises. 
Uploading a file to a catalog item seems pretty simple, right? Until you realize it's not actually transferring correctly between your instances. Well, that's where ServiceNow MVP Kristen Detman comes in. She's breaking down best practices for handling catalog attachments, including how to preserve files across environments, automate that processing, and troubleshoot permission issues. This is one of those things that you don't really think about until it breaks, so now you'll know how to handle it before it even happens. Have you ever tried looping through a list collector in Flow Designer only to get a dreaded error about creating serializable iteration for items? Yeah, that's pretty frustrating, but Emit Verma has a fix, and it all comes down to understanding how ServiceNow stores list collector values as comma-separated strings instead of arrays. In his blog, he walks you through the exact way to parse and process those values correctly, so your flows work as expected. You can find these and more tips on the ServiceNow community blog, so go check them out, bookmark them, level up your skills. Well, that's it, folks, for this edition of the Update Set. Now remember, 60% of the time, your scripts are going to work every time. Keep coding, keep troubleshooting, and whatever you do, don't delete production data without a backup. We'll see you next time.